Uh, hi everyone, I'm Yanis, I'm a data scientist at Selden, and mostly for my interest, who's come across multi-armed bandits in their data science journey? Okay, a lot of people actually. Okay, that's good. Um, so there's, there's many ways you can think about multi-armed bandit problems. Uh, one way I want to introduce it is as a, almost like an extension to A-B testing. So, um, so what's a multi-armed bandit problem? So it's a decision problem. Uh, you, had, you as a decision maker have uh, a number of discrete choices to make and you have some number of trials, which is typically unknown, uh, can be infinite, usually is. Um, and at each of those trials, you pick exactly one choice, called an action A, and you get a reward uh, that's associated to that particular action that you took. And the reward comes from some reward distribution that's specific to, that, to the action that you chose. Um, so now, you want to use that information to maximize your total expected reward. Um, so how can you do that? You need some kind of performance measure. Uh, simplest one is you just, as, as you keep doing your trials, you keep, uh, keep track of your sample average for each of your choices, uh, and then you somehow need to use that information to pick the best possible action at each time step. Um, the easiest thing you can think of, you can just always take the, pick the arm that has currently the highest sample average so far, um, you can probably see that this is not very good because you might get lucky uh, on your first trial, get a good reward for, from a distribution that's act, whose mean is actually quite bad, and, but then you're forever stuck with the worst performing uh, action. Um, so there's quite a lot of research about this. Um, there is an exact solution called, called Gittin's indices, uh, but they're only applied to some, in some uh, certain reward distribution cases. So. Uh, one quote I wanted to share with you today uh, I came across in my research was uh, about multi armed bandits in, the World War in World War II. Um, <coughs> the problem is a classic one. It was formulated during the war. Efforts to solve it so sapped the energies and minds of allied analysts that the suggestion was made that the problem be dropped over Germany as the ultimate instrument of intellectual sabotage. Um, so you can imagine how I feel. Um, <coughs> So there's, there's lots of approximate solution methods that do very well on various kinds of reward distributions and that are used in practice successfully. And you can think of A-B testing as one of them. Uh, in the multi and bandit literature, sometimes it's called as epsilon first strategy, where you have a certain time period where you first explore all the possible options uniformly at random to gather evidence. And then at some point you decide, OK, this is my best possible choice. I will forever exploit this one. And that's basically what A-B testing does. Uh, slightly more sophisticated choice, you can have epsilon greedy methods where you always choose the best action at this particular time, but a small amount of time, uh, epsilon, you explore random opportun opportunities. So this makes sure that you don't get stuck in a, in a suboptimal arm. Um, so slightly better. So there's some, some more advanced techniques. Um, by the way, all of these are very easily uh, implementable uh, in Python or any, any language. Uh, upper confidence bound, uh, it's also called um, optimism in the face of uncertainty. Basically, it, it says, okay, we've, we've, we haven't explored these arms quite sufficiently yet, so we don't know what our estimates are, so we might want to sample these a bit more, that kind of stuff. Uh, last one, Thompson sampling is my favorite one because it's Bayesian. Um, you, have a, you start with a prior over the arms, and after each trial, you get an updated posterior, and then you sample from the posterior to pick your choices. Uh, it's quite nice, works well in practice. Um, so I'm not just making this up. Um, uh, the, a very simple experiment, if you have two arms, uh, Bernoulli distributed rewards, so zeros and ones, uh, one arm has 50% uh, chance of giving you a one, the other one has a 60% chance. So you can think of this as some sort of conversion rate, for example, 50% is quite high, uh, and 60% is something you might not observe, uh, but we do observe if we simulate it. Um, so you can run experiments with different strategies. So for A-B testing, I, I ran 2,000 trials until deciding I was going to go with the, uh, with the winning one, uh, and I, I got reasonably lucky to choose the winning one, uh, but I left quite a lot of conversion on the table. Um, all the other methods that I mentioned uh, converge much quicker to the optimal method. Um, so there's lots of extensions you can do to these. You can have non-stationary rewards. Um, contextual bandits is very interesting because you might, want, you might have some additional information uh, uh, using features. Say if you're serving websites, your, your user features might be important. Uh, that's it.